Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we were wiping out the fiends because they did some really fucked up shit. And, uh, I'd say they kind of deserve it. So, uh, what I'm doing right now is just figuring out what's on this floor. I think, I don't even remember what floor I'm on right now. Uh, pfft. Shit. That's not right. Uh. Chainsaw? Yeah, I didn't have one out of the eight. Maybe it's the H. I don't know. Uh, whatever. It had more, but that was not right. Shit. Alright. I didn't want a dud removed. I want one of the fucking retries refunded. That's what I want. Damn it. Alright. So, uh, they actually killed the residents here, so we're going to, you know, give the residents some retribution and take the fiends out. And, come on. Come on. Well, I mean, there's only one left. <laughs> so... I mean, I guess that works. <laughs> sure. Anyway, disengage lock. There we go. Cool. All right, and what's with this spot? Seems like an overseer office of some kind. Like an overseer's a uh, bedroom. Is that a that is a dino toy. The fuck? Broken terminal? Bad data? I cannot read. Okay, well, that explains that. There's that. And there seems to be... Looks like a cage down there. Huh. Well then, apparently they also keep prisoners here. Maybe. Let's hope... I hope it's not just a bunch of skeletons. Skeletons? Skellingtons is what I was trying to say. And uh, my sleepiness made the word come out wrong entirely because I <laughs> only just woke up. All right. Let's uh, keep moving around here before we head down to where that is. Oh. That must have been just a lounge area. This is the overseer's office. Or maybe that was just the overseer's bedroom. And this is the main office. Hmm. Alrighty. Well. Is there any. There is a terminal I can get into. Huh. There's also a lot of 10 millimeter rounds that I don't necessarily need. Hey! And a hunting rifle to boot. Where the hell did they grab that? I'm assuming this was there, but... What the... Oh, those are binoculars that are phased through the fucking bookshelf. Eh, <laughs> uh, but that's that. Always a shenanigan encoding here and there. Okay. Yeah, this, this, this has got to be relatively untouched since the fiends have uh, come here. At least it looks like it anyway. So, it's safe to say that they never found any of this because I never bothered to look. Here's the Overseer's Terminal, anyway. Maybe we can find out a little bit more about what happened. Uh, chimpanzees was not right. Uh, maybe constructed? No. Still had two right, though. Huh. Let's try Charismatic. Hey. Good thing I checked. Huh? Alright. Happy birthday. Unlock storage room doors. And weapon lockers. What? George Stalt to Janet Kimper. Hi, Janet. How's the school year going so far? I've heard good things from your teachers. They say you're the one of the top students in your class. Your birthday is tomorrow. Sweet 16 at last. Can you even believe it? 
Oh, God. Every time I see Sweet 16, I remember that fucking MTV show. <laughs> God. That, that was just a thing. All right. It seems like yesterday my sister told me she was going to have a little girl. Do you have big plans for your birthday? Ugh, I can't talk anymore. Jesus. I think if you are interested, I could talk to some folks and get the dining room reserved for a couple hours. Let me know if that sounds like fun and I'll start getting the ball moving. Uncle George. Oh, that Uncle George might be the uh, overseer. Well, I mean, that might be how it's going. Otherwise, that wouldn't make a lot of sense. That it would be in the uh, emails here. Upcoming election. To George Stalt. Michael Robinson. George, we've been friends for a while, so I hope you didn't take my candidacy for overseer personally. Okay, so I was right on that. Good. Uh, I just... I was just worried that I was just misconstruing that entirely there. I'm going to do whatever I can to keep our friends and family safe, and if that means taking our exposure to the outside world slow and keeping to ourselves outside of what we need, of course, then that is what I'm going to push for. No one knows what it is going to be like out there. There could be horrific mutants or strange wandering vagabonds, aliens, murderous gangs. We have no idea. Let's be smart about this. Apparently, uh... Who is it? Uh, Michael wanted to take it slow. George was all in. I'm willing to bet George was still the overseer at the time. That is tragic. That, uh, his eagerness ended up being the downfall. George Stalt to all residents. Greetings, everyone. Thank you all for putting your trust in me. I am honored to serve as your overseer for the next term, and hopefully beyond. I'm going to do everything I can to get Michelle's committee outside as soon as possible. Huh. My mouth is not cooperating. <laughs> we'll get our water issues resolved and form lasting bonds with our neighbors in the world outside. Thanks again for putting your trust in me. George Stalt, overseer. Damn. Uh, we, we don't even know how close an election it was between the two. It, it could have been like down to a handful of votes that could have saved them in the end. Oh, why did it have to be the fiends? Oh god, I want to kill him. So much more now. <laughs> Jeez. From the, my, the weapons lockers from my... Wait, sorry. Michelle. <laughs> Damn. I'm sleepy as fuck. Leave me alone. George, I'm not sure what Michael is planning, but I suggest that you leave the weapons in those two submerged storerooms. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any support, and there is no need to give him the opportunity to arm himself. Oh, so the weapons are in submerged storerooms. Oh. Let's open them up. Since we have the opportunity, here's hoping I can get to them while I'm up here. Well, up here, more of in this area. Right, eyeglasses. And this seems a little more lived in. So this is probably where fiends hang out every once in a while. They're all up there, and they're still not pissed at me yet. I don't think they realize that I've cleared off the rest of their fucking gang really call them a gang and some of the other floors they're probably not even aware take that what the <laughs> binoculars phased through the fucking bookshelf again ah Bethesda shenanigans abound alright um yeah I was double checking that this room has already been well looked through hi there I need to get some more chems. You need a bullet in the face? I can do that. <laughs> okay, that was cruel. That was cruel and unusual and unnecessary. I know that. But at the same time, it felt so good. <laughs> okay. Fix that. And fix that. There we are. 
Because these are more valuable than those two combined. <laughs> Alright. And this is empty bathroom. Okay, well. And now they've noticed that I'm killing people. Which, uh, at least they're that aware. Okay, I should probably turn off my light now. Wow, they are not aware enough that I'm able to sneak up on them like this, though. Jeez. That is bad. And you're gone. And you're gone. And... You're gone. Oop, oop, oop. One. One was left. And... Okay. Jesus. This is just... Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I managed that. That was like a strike team operation. Holy shit. That's fucking great. And I took out the big guy, too. The guy with, like, the submachine gun, which would have caused a lot more damage than this guy. I mean, overall. Before I even got a chance to get off a couple of rounds. Jeez. Alright, sledgehammer. I don't think I need the sledgehammer, do I? The fucking chainsaw was the only reason. And I already put that on one of them. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, God. <laughs> this is so slow. Frag Grenade Ripper. That's actually valuable. Alright. Let's uh, fix a couple of these, shall we? Uh, I think the 44 is actually more valuable than the submachine gun. Let's uh, test that theory. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, but not much. So, let's fix it with this. Oh yeah, it's far it's far more valuable. Good thing I did that. Alright, um in the meantime. Just gonna double check if anything needs to be maintained. Yes, this does. There we go. That doesn't need to be maintained, that's good. Um good lord. <laughs> so many things in my pockets. Uh, the pockets. Alright, um, medicine stick doesn't need a repair from the look of it. I could repair the ripper with a hatchet and a machete. Okay, that's good. Deals with some of the weight. And not enough, though. Um. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Eddie, she called my bluff. She called my bluff. I need to put it on you now. Sorry. Jeez. God, she's good. Okay. A chainsaw. Yeah, I don't need to fix that up any further than I already have. So, I think we're good on that. Put those away. Uh, caravan shotgun. Actually, doesn't weigh that much. The Ripper does. Holy shit. That weighs a lot. Um... How many of those do I have? A lot. Yeesh. Tch. Fuck. Alright, well, there's that anyway. Whoop, okay. Well, I'll let you take care of that guy. Whoa. Whoa, Eddie, you set him on fire. That was quite a thing you did. Oh, hi there. I uh, didn't realize you'd be over there. And now you're no longer living. Alright. Nothing here. This seems to be the living quarters. This is probably what room I actually was in and I wasn't paying attention while I was uh, in the midst of the extermination of a bunch of murderous fucks. Alright. Fancy lad snacks. Alrighty. Wouldn't say they're fancy lads in any capacity. Those must be the submerged storerooms. Okay, then. Well, we have our heading. And we have... Hi there! 
Whoa, really? You actually had some durability on you. That was surprising. Hi there. Daniel. Daniel? You're a named fiend. What? Wow. Oh, jeez. Like this. No, I didn't like it, but, uh... Veronica kind of finished the job for me, so thank you, Veronica. I should have reloaded long before that. That was on me. That was on me. I took that damage because I was stupid. Oh, utility jumpsuit. I could actually use that to repair my armor for what little damage I think it took. <laughs> and doesn't need repair. Doesn't need repair. That's surprising. Doesn't need repair. Alrighty. That was good. Rebound. Hey, use that. That is actually surprising. I managed to deal with all of that like <laughs> like it was nothing really if I really want to say it but at the same time I want to give him a little more credit I mean Daniel was pretty much the uh, strongest out of the whole group but I mean it was headshot after headshot after headshot for the rest of them fiend prisoner key and a maintenance key huh Hello, Nara. Huh. Wasn't any info on that. Wow. This guy had a collection. Sheesh. How many do you have to kill to get this much shit? Jesus. A lot, I assume. Hello, Michael. Nothing on here. This was Michael's computer. Oh, no. Oh, boy. If it had only been him who had won the election, this wouldn't have happened. Oh, gods. That sucks. He did have a couple of things on him. Oh, fuck you. I've like seen your face still intact. Alright. And... This was just a regular fiend with a grenade rifle. Holy shit, good thing I took care of that. Ooh, that could have turned out ugly. But it is dealt with now. What do we got here? Got one of those, good. That's fine, I'll take that. Uh, locker. Oh, I'll take that. Anyway, I can stockpile parable uh, things for my armor, the better got something here compose automated blast message system offline okay well this is hello billy boy i didn't read the name and now that i did i uh i'm a little confused <laughs> why why set it for that i don't know i wouldn't set my computer for my nickname for my uh persona absolutely <laughs> For my persona, absolutely. But not for my nickname. That's goofy. Alright, Lincoln Davis. I assume he is the, uh... Well, I'm not sure what to think. The water situation to all residents. He might have been the mechanic, actually. The uh, uh, maintenance person. Now that I think about it, that makes sense. Greetings, everyone. As you all saw in the message from Vincent, we're going to have to start rationing water until we can resolve the leaking issues. Unfortunately, we don't currently have the parts required to fix the underlying cause of the leak. At this point, we have an alternative, but to seek the parts that we need from outside the vault. Ugh, sorry, I misread that. I thought that was a comma. <laughs> but to seek the parts that we need from outside the vault. To facilitate this, I'm proud to announce that Michelle Dalian will be forming a new committee with the goal of creating ties with whatever civilization there may be on the outside world. Or in the outside world. Michelle and I both have high hopes that we have no that we'll have no problem fuck finding the assets we need and hopefully forming some lasting relationships with the outside world. Thank you, Overseer Davis. 
Uh, Davis. Huh. Michelle, thank you again for agreeing to take charge with our external relations. I'm sure that you will do... You will do represent us. That, that, that's... That was not proper English. And our interests well. I don't even think the do was necessary. So I think that was an accidental uh, rewrite and then not full fix. <laughs> Let me know if I can be of any assistance. Link. Oh yeah, that's right. You could shorten Link into Link. That's right. Okay. <laughs> well then, I forgot about that. Your endorsement. George Stalt to Lincoln Davis. Dear Lincoln, thank you for in your endorsement at the town hall meeting last night. You are so well respected by the residents that I am sure it will greatly increase my chances of following you to the big chair. Since Michelle started making plans and gathering people for her external association committee, the isolationists have been gathering followers, as you well know. I think having me follow you as overseer will serve to slow their efforts. Thanks. Oh. Okay, so Lincoln Davis was the first overseer. And then, after that, was when Michael and, uh, who was it again, George, were having it out over the overseer position. That explains it. Okay. Alright. So it was first Lincoln Davis, and then George Stalt, and then George Stalt again, and then the fiends took over and killed everyone because Stalt was a little too trusting. Which is unfortunate. Okay. Well. Since I think we've cleared out the floor. There's a couple of pips, though. I think that was in the uh, room that I passed through. I think that was in the... Uh... Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's, I didn't even notice that there were people in there. <laughs> I was too busy trying to get these fiends out of the way. Oh, boy. Alright. Hey the there. NCR and the Kings have been getting along. That's good news for Freeside. How'd you hear about that? Well, I guess the fiends would kind of be talking about it. Hey. So, hey. Yeah, you. Come give us a hand. Uh, what are you doing in here? We were part of a caravan heading into New Vegas from down south. Ah. They're holding us hostage, trying to get some ransom. Mm -hmm. Anyone willing to pay for us died in the attack. Once the fiends figure that out, we're as good as dead. Oh, jeez. <laughs> can you make it worth my while? Uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, partner. I think the fiend with the key is back in one of the bedrooms somewhere. Someone called him Daniel, if that helps. Yeah, I, I already dealt with him. So, uh... Can you tell me about the fiends? They're a bunch of junkies that do whatever they can to get money for chems. Yeah, that's what I expected. I hear they're led by a guy calling himself Motor Runner. Not anymore. I think he's in one of the other wings, although I haven't seen him myself. Okay. Uh, do you know anything more about Vault 3? I don't know much. Only that the people who lived in here originally were killed by the fiends. Okay. Carter there escaped and managed to explore for a bit. Oh, I see. He hacked a password off of the computer and found the location of some guns. He was on his way to get them when the fiends caught him again. Uh, will you give me the password he found if I help you escape? Yeah, it's yours if you help us out of here. Alrighty. Well then, that makes it easy. You uh, Rachel. Talk to Rick if you have something you'd like to say. Okay. There you go. Take down this password. It'll get you into the overseer's area upstairs, I think. Alrighty. Thanks for the help. We'll find our own way out. In the overseer's area. I already uh, did that. So, uh, thank you for info that I already don't need. Dennis, okay. Yeah, these guys, uh, did not have a good time. Sheesh. That is unfortunate. Alright. Well, we did a good deed while we were in here as well. That's a good thing. And, oh, this just leads up to this section again. And... Huh. 
Yeah, and that just leads up to there. Okay. Well, I guess the only thing left now is that uh, submerged storeroom. Good thing I have a rebreather on it. Eh? Alright. So, I'm gonna look through there. Uh, wait here. And wait here. Should have brought something to read. Yeah, you should have. Okay. In we go. Man, I'm happy I have this root breather. God, that was a good idea to get. Okay, there's not a lot of things going on here. Oh, there's a couple books. There's that, at least. <laughs> that shouldn't have fallen. That's weird. That made more sense. Okay. Um, scrap electronics. Couple of beds in here. Gun cabinets. That's where they were. All right. And another gun cabinet. Eh. Some good stuff. I uh, think. I got two of those so I can repair them with one of each. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. I've taken a lot of rats, though, so I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Alrighty. There we go. All right. Some good shit. And I think... Aw, just when the standing around was getting exciting. <laughs> yeah, about that. I think I have officially cleared out Vault 3 of all the fiends. I think. We're going to have to continue looking around to find out. But... I think we have done what we came here for, which was avenging the uh, former residents of Vault 3. Yay. All right, so I'm just going to do a once over and make sure. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. Share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games, and... Dealing with the fiends one after another and killing them dead. Ooh, there's a, another submerged vault uh, storage room. And uh, helping free some hostages that apparently they were holding for a while for you.